let's move on. I, I want to get to the scaries. Freaking, it's been so long since I've read since we've watched scaries together, and 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 I love scaries. So let's 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 watch Milk's top five. Uh, we're gonna be getting into a lot more. Uh, a lot more. Uh, uh, what is it? Ah, what's the word? The freaking like the VHS style horror stuff. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna be super excited to do a lot of that stuff. But uh, for now, I just you already know I freaking love Nukes Top Five. Always been a big fan. That you've been doing it for so long, so I freaking love it. But I do want to get into the more like Highway abstract stuff horror. on YouTube. It's four in the morning, and truck driver William Church is driving down an empty highway just outside analog of Phoenix, horror. Arizona. I want to get into more analog he horror. He suddenly spots something in front of him. That makes his blood run cold. If I can get, if we can do, like so, so Gemini. Uh, William's truck uh, dash cam records the moment when a translucent up, figure yeah. appears to be standing on the right lane of the highway. The truck driver can't believe his eyes, but he's not the only one who spots the bizarre uh -oh. figure. Sitting next to him in the passenger seat is his truck driving uh, partner, Erica Lake. She is also shocked Premier by Pro the sudden appearance of this strange apparition Adobe, I told you to stop freaking... At first, I Windows 11, I swear. Windows human, 11, I swear. Then when you can't really see the <laughs> face and the top of the body up, I was kind of... I wonder what, and then, then we were thinking about maybe it's it's a ghost. I actually twitched the wheel um, to, to miss whoever it was. The highway they are on, Arizona State Route 87, is notorious for its many deadly accidents where countless lives have been tragically cut short. I mean, yeah, but but it, it, a lot of that is how dark that freaking route is. Adding to the mystery, the is. figure they capture appears to have no upper torso or head. So did the two truckers capture proof of the paranormal? Or just what do you think this is? Let me know. You think someone just left like half a mannequin back there? Like, <laughs> like it just fell off a truck or something? Bearer of bad news. Is that a pun? Popular urban explorers Bearer Matt and Andy news. from the YouTube channel Finders ah, Beepers Finders History Beepers. Seekers we love are back here. with another exploration at an abandoned I definitely want to see farmhouse more in Yorkshire, England. I've been this watching a lot of this stuff, I'll be honest. third team member, a cute little dog named Bear. Oh, you're joking. That's adorable. Dude, I, you, you see that there? It's like Gandalf and the Hobbit. I don't know why I bring the little puppy on these spooky, scary adventures. Maybe it's because I I, I see his courage and it makes me feel, you know, brave. <laughs> little pup with that puppy. I'll, I'll freaking out. I'll, I'll jump in front of any ghost. Don't you dare. They up with a GoPro camera and a flashlight and he starts they to really roam put around a GoPro the dark on it. house. I need one. <laughs> My, my De Deku is a lot bigger. He's not this small. He, he's... But so unlike any of their previous explorations, that Bear is just interesting. Begins to act. I didn't know that was a thing. I could see a whole day in the life of my doggos. Very strange. I'm gonna totally do that. The little dog sniffs around, running from room to room as if he's trying to find something. He's like, oh no, I think I know. You put him inside. What is he doing? He's like, looking for he food. He's on a proper mad one tonight. Bear, go find him. Go find him. Look for the ghost. Where is he? Where's that There's phantom? Something weird about this place. I is his name like Danny? Danny Fenton? Worst start to a video ever, because bears just all over the place, and I don't know what you're doing snorting up. <laughs> they named the dog o Bear. I love it. <laughs> oh, and notice cupboards. To be fair, what we got in here? We've got not very much in the bottom. Is there... Oh, bro, that's such a cool butter holder. Though that's a butter Anything holder. There? Wow. Nice and fancy. There's a whisper. Hey! Yeah, stop going through my coverage. It's it's Bilbo Baggins. It's Bilbo Baggins. Tell us the bad. dwarves. Get out of my coverage! Trying to hide the, the, the bread. The squeak. My concern is that Oh, he's upstairs. Bear? What was that? Bro, you better go save the doggo. You rush into that room and save that doggo. Bear. You sacrifice yourself. Go! Bear? Oh, he's coming now. That worried me. I thought he'd hurt himself or something, or... I don't whimper. Yeah. You little oh, fool. look at him. Up. Look at that little explorer. Oh, man, best episode. Best episode oh, so far. today? Unless he's caught something. 
As the guys continue to explore the downstairs of the farmhouse, Little Bear sneaks away again to take another look upstairs. Matt and Andy are sorting Dude, through- Bear's the bravest one there, man. Bear's going where no doggo is gone. ...pile of old books when something happens that is very unsettling. Oh, dude, I love old books. Anyway, I'm gonna have a quick look on this bed, see if I can find anything else. Right, boy. <laughs> Bear? What's wrong with you? There's a ghost! Friggin' dude, it, it offered me treats! But it was a deal with the devil, so I didn't take it. Just started barking randomly. Do you think doggos can actually see ghosts? Rabbit. Because if they can, my dog will fly. He needs to. He needs to find more ghosts. What is he? What he found? He's like. He's like. I found a rat. It was a really big rat. It was a cool rat. I came to tell you about it. Well, let's go catch that rat. <laughs> someone outside. The little dog bear barks and then comes charging back down the stairs, wondering what caused the dog's strange reaction. The Finders Beepers team decides to head upstairs to check the second floor of the farmhouse. They look Dude, into one of the upstairs spotlight? bedrooms. Bro, I would love to take my doggo with like a spotlight. And that's when things take a terrifying turn. What year is that? What year Especially is like when you when you go out somewhere at night, like 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 if if like I've been wanting to take them uh uh we wanted to take him to Vegas to go visit some friends that live out there, uh, and and it's like if he needs to go, you know, potties on the road, I I would love to have a little flashlight on him just in case. He doesn't he doesn't stray too far from me like ever, but like I don't cabinet. I don't know what's out there. How's that got a lock on it there for a bathroom cabinet? That makes no sense. Oh, I mean, that looks like a really good cabinet. I'm not hey, gonna lie. I mean, if you have a lock on it, that means you can keep all your medis medications and stuff in there, which, P.S., don't leave your medications in the bathroom. It's humid, and it's going to, uh, dilute the medication. Bother. What the f Oh, nah! Did you, did you hear that? Look at Bear! Look at Bear! Bear's a freaking champ! Bear said, nah, son. I'm gonna protect my two, my two owners. Just, my humans. Oh, what is this stairway though? This reminds me of stairways in Mexico, where like it, 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 stairway. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't. I don't see that much of it here in, in uh, at least here in California. I don't see a whole lot of stairways that lead to multiple locations, like a side, Where's like a bed? side step. You know what I'm saying? Like these little side stairs. Hello. Hello. Is that the front door? Matt and Andy it's like blocked someone by a mattress. Running down the stairs. They quickly go over and take a look down the staircase, but there's you no... Think, you think the ghost walked upstairs so, and was like, Ah, yeah, time to scare some peeps. And then and then, and then he saw Bear, the doggo, it's like, Ah, crud, oh no! Like, just has a f deep fear of dogs. Oh, like, <laughs> now the guys That's why I ran downstairs, downstairs really fast. And after a careful search, they don't find anyone in the house. So they decide to check the footage on Bear's GoPro camera, and what they find is truly chilling. They found 40 minutes of just the camera staring down at Bear's head. <laughs> Bear, <laughs> oh, we didn't angle it right. Ah, uh, crush. <laughs> Absolutely covered. Oh, poor doggo. Do you know why you're doing this? We can watch his footage. Bear. I hope he didn't get bit by a spider. I'll do it on his camera. You better check him for spider bites, Come my on. dude. Right, we need to show you something on this camera because this camera's in my hand of what he's just seen. And I haven't looked at all the footage yet. I've just seen one thing and it has chilled me. It has proper chilled me. Look at this. Dude, it's doggo cam. Bear can smell something. He smells a rat. Where's that rat at? Don't let them no clip into the back rooms. Please. Don't you do it. Oh, what? Go back. Oh, there's a hand there. The 
that's a trip! Dude, there's a hobo down there! Don't let him- he's gonna eat the doggo! If it's- if he's like a Michael Myers hobo, it'll- he'll eat the doggo. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Y'all gotta go check that out What's now. Wrong with you? Just started barking randomly. Oh, I like how they did the side by side. That's cool. In the footage, the poor little doggo jumps back in fear as he finds someone hiding underneath the bed. Did they go check and see if there he was someone there? He runs back downstairs to Matt and Andy. The guys go back up to check the bedroom. In my pants now. Abs absolutely in my pants. Is that the bedroom? Yeah, we'd come up here, and whoever it was, from what I can see, I'd hent even go downstairs ever again. I'm living in Vienna. <laughs> I'm living in Vienna. It's here, look. That's it. They've been under there. Oh. But wow, this is horrible, Andy. I can deal with spooky go- Okay, the fact that they were in the other room and heard someone running downstairs, there was totally a hobo there. 100%. He was hiding under the- He's been living there in this abandoned house, and freaking Doggo showed up. He was trying to hide under the bed so no one would catch him, and as soon as he saw them go into the other room, he fucked it out of there. That's that, I'm calling it. But real people. People are just- Unpredictable. If they're laying under a bed in an abandoned house, there's something not right in first place. <laughs> the thing is, right, if Bear hadn't alerted us to it, what would happen when we came upstairs? God knows. That uh, you'd probably find either a, a dude who's really into his drugs, or just an innocent homeless dude who's just trying to not get caught and evicted from this abandoned house, you know? <laughs> I don't know what the squatting rules are uh, over there, that's, but... That's the thing with... That worries me. Somebody on the bed has just jumped out and grabbed me. Yeah, it's grabbed your legs from under bed. It's like every child's nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't have been here. I would have been booting him in head. It would have been an Andrew shaped hole in the door. <laughs> <laughs> just like a cartoon, just blast through it. I freaking love these dudes. Forget it. Now we'll never know just who this creepy guy was who was hiding under the bed. Was he an innocent squatter? Or did he have bad intentions? But again, this I like is exactly to, the I like to believe people have like no intentions. Like not good, not bad. They're just leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. I ain't trying to like I don't want to sit here and explain what I'm doing in an abandoned house, dude. Don't just like just, just <laughs> like like what 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 life decisions do you think I like I made to end up here? Like <laughs> the reason that I don't want to explain myself say... to you. People Let me alone. are way scarier than anything paranormal. That is also true. this entire video over on the I, YouTube channel. I am far more Binders, fearful Beavers, of, of history people seekers. than ghosts. <laughs> and if you're interested to watch Bear's point of view, you can also watch that video over on his own YouTube channel. And I YouTube genuinely channel, do believe in ghosts. Beeper Bear. I love it. We need scary Oh, buddy. and they're uploading the Bear's footage on its own channel? We can just watch non-stop doggo cam. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at Dude, gmail.com. I really com wish I, I had behind the locked door. scary videos. This week, another mysterious video was shared on the Nukes Top 5 subreddit with no original source. The clip was uploaded by an Arabic repost account on Instagram, but the language spoken in the video is Spanish. But Ooh, wherever Espanol. it came from, I the footage translate. is truly Terrifying. Wait, which Spanish? Like Mexico Spanish or like Spain Spanish? <laughs> oh, it's a soccer ball, dude. Football! Kick it! Go for the goal! If you beat the ghost, it'll probably give you a wish. <laughs> <laughs> J 
Jimmy, get back in your room! It is bedtime! <laughs> Jimmy? That door was closed. The door was closed. Nah, that door was closed! <laughs> It didn't like close, it was already closed. Nah, son, you burn it down. You burn everything down. Grab a cross. Do you have your cross? You better have your cross. Holy water! I'll chuck a holy water at you, bro. Like a Molotov full of holy juice. No! The ball is thrown out of the no! boy appears behind the cameraman. The boy giggles and then seems to run right through a closed. That's Mama Lion Ghost coming to protect her kid. Door. Like, hey, Without warning, the horrified face house. of a woman seems you to leave right alone. out of the locked wooden door. Oh, it's like a mannequin face too. That's disturbing. Terrifying the filmer. The video then cuts, and we have no idea oh, I love what it. happens next. Ah, oh, that one. That one did like the the face floating. Like I don't know. I don't know what a real ghost would look like, but that one like. My initial instinct is like that's totally photoshopped, but now as always, but like no what would what would an actual ghost going through things look I'm like? You know, I'm <laughs> gonna say that this bizarre clip is real. It's a but really it's good video. I very love it. Spooky. It's definitely spooky. Follower. One late night, especially in an that creepy kid in left. Indonesia, a CCTV camera captures a man walking home from work, and he doesn't seem to be alone. I see a little shadow thing. Is that someone like a... It's very dark. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that! That is a bit creepy. A translucent figure seems to appear out of the darkness and creepily follows the man. Now, because we don't have a source, we can only imagine just what might have happened to the man next. I love this one, that's creepy. Because just what is this? Let me know what you think. Bro, if ghosts are just like memories or like a, a leftover energy or something, that's gotta be sad. He's over here like, sir, 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 do you know, I need directions. Sir, sir, <laughs> how do I get to the supermarket? I'm lost, sir. Like he doesn't even know he's dead. Like <laughs> Whispers in the dark. These next three videos were shared by a Reddit user named Luke. Luke claims that ever since he was a child that he would experience terrifying paranormal activity when visiting his aunt's home in Iowa. The creepy old house was built way back in the 1860s. And Luke claims that ghostly events Oh, 1860s, back when nobody smiled. It's happened so often in the house that his aunt isn't Everyone who takes a picture in the 1960s like now, for the first like, time in like years, that. Luke decides to return to his aunt's house for a visit. And it did not go well. One night at around... <laughs> his aunt was still there. Her cookie's terrible. <laughs> it did not go well. 2.30 in the morning, Luke is woken up by the eerie sound of voices. He quickly grabs his phone and begins to record. I'm still hearing voices. Listen. Jesus Christ. Luke is now wide awake and continues to record as the unexplained activity. Well, it's just a ghost wanting to use your cycle, man. He wants to get some exercise in. You see that little that little bicycle? He's trying to say, hey, can I borrow that for a minute? I'm trying to trying to work out my glutes. <laughs> it's leg day, bro. Jesus Christ. Luke is now wide awake and continues to record as the unexplained activity in the house only seems to get worse and worse. The only correct response, as someone who has who has uh, uh, slept at many a uh, spooky, scary Mexico uh, abandoned buildings and stuff, don't ask. Uh, the, the correct response is uh, go back to sleep. <laughs> the ghosts tend to leave you alone. Nah, is that in the closet? No soliciting. Get out. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Oh my god. 
Hi there, I'd like to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Uh, you've been neglecting our call. <laughs> and then something happens that is pure nightmare Yeah, for good reason. Fuel. I don't want to talk about my extended warranty. <sighs> what did it say? It's the tree. The tree can talk. It's Groot. I am Bush. Not the president Bush, like an actual Bush. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love it. He's like, I'm out. I'm out. No more. Uh uh. There's something near Luke's ear. Luke says that he could hear the voice saying, Who's that guy? <sighs> It's totally a freaking ghost kid from the 1960s. Like, what is this adult doing in my bed? Get out, bro. <laughs> One of Luke's viewers believes that the voice then says, he was killed over here. It's a ghost, dude. You gotta solve the murder. Come on, man. Nope. That's a movie waiting to happen. You gotta solve the kid's murder. Luke says that the whispering. It's like it's like that anime with oh uh, that really I freaking love that anime. It's such a good one where the girl can like see uh, ghosts, but she tries to ignore them. Freaking love it. Come on, bro. You're like the only person who could solve the murder case. And his room became so intense that he left the house and spent the rest of the night sleeping in his car. You're joking. So what do you think? Is this? Screw that. I ain't letting no go. It's freaking sleeping in cars is uncomfortable, dude. I've had to do that a couple times. Forget that. I ain't doing that. I'm a freaking ghost or not. I'm sleeping in a comfy bed. Real evidence of the paranormal? My comfort is more important than your murder case. Or <laughs> is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide what looks back. This next video shows a group of friends taking a smoke. That's an interesting name. What looks break back? And an abandoned old house somewhere in the Philippines. A girl in the group quickly gets creeped out and insists that they all return to the car. However, the guys want to take their time and one of them even decides to pull out his phone and film a bit. Yeah, get out of here with your bad vibes. <laughs> Okay, I heard the creepy, like, like, pi like, what was that? Piano? No, violin? I heard that. I didn't see anything. Well, it turns out that the girl's creepy feeling about the old decaying house might have been right after all. Because, did you see it? No, I As didn't. As the cameraman pans around, a horrifying face appears right in- That's a face? I guess, if this is like the eye, and that's like the mouth, it looks like a giant fish. Something out of Resident Evil. Oh, oh, it looks like the, the monster from Amnesia. In front of the lens. The face doesn't look human with creepy round eyes and thin pointy teeth. It appears to have no hair, no nose, and it looks like its veins are bulging underneath the skin. Dude, that looks like something out of the back rooms. In fact, it looks more like some sort of horrifying creature than a person at all. Unfortunately, the clip suddenly it's cuts a fish off, man. leaving us to wonder just what happened next. But is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I really thought he was looking at, it was like, the camera just like, sort of like, recorded the wallpaper or something, and there was just like a hole in it or something. The Lake Shawnee Amusement Park. Paranormal investigators Dustin and Lisa from the YouTube channel The South Cax 2.0 Bro, going to amusement parks uh, that are not like the mainstay like Disney and stuff is so awesome. Uh, and if anybody ever visits California, <clears throat> in Anaheim, there's this place called Adventure Adventure City, Adventure Park. Uh, it's really cool. It's super tiny, like a, ver like a very, very tiny amusement park. But it's actually legitimately awesome and, and way cheaper than Disneyland. <laughs> Bill traveled to the abandoned Lake Shawnee Amusement Park in Princeton, West Virginia. I love Virginia. taking the kids there, all my Built siblings and everyone. It's, it's freaking dope. The small amusement park was not exactly up to modern safety standards. It is estimated that in total, six people mostly children, lost their lives here. The park was eventually closed and left abandoned in 1966. But it is said that even today, the park is severely haunted by the ghosts of its previous visitors. Bro, that's free real estate. 
That's free real estate. If you think I'm not like renovating if 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 I had the opportunity, I would absolutely renovate one of these places and turn it into a full on park. Dustin and Lisa begin their Modern investigation day. You kidding at an me? abandoned swing ride where a little girl lost her The world her needs life. more amusement. Lisa decides to begin what is called a pendulum session, asking questions of the spirits of the park while dangling a pendulum to see if it will move on its own in response. What happens next is downright creepy. The little girl that's here, the object that I'm holding, it kind of looks like a necklace, and you're more than welcome to touch it. Just yoinks it, just steals it. Mine. <laughs> it just lets me know answers to questions that I ask you. Yeah, but I don't, I don't trust the pendulum. Like, don't get me wrong, right? Like, if if, if you guys think it's legit, it, you know, all, by all, by all means, ignore me. Uh, but like things like that, like the pendulum and the Ouija board, it's like way too much human control. Like, now if she hung that on something and just like let it, let it, left it there stationary, so it wasn't moving, the wind wasn't pushing it and stuff then I, I'd, I'd have a lot more trust in it. Like, I'd still say the wind might have moved it, but at the very least, you like, if you're not holding it in your hand, it, it gives it a little bit more legitimacy, in my opinion. So, feel free to answer as much I feel the same way about the EMF like. reader. Like, it's just random radio noises, in my opinion. Do you like it here at Lake Shawnee? And that's a yes. Uh, well, see? no, that's a pendulum. It's designed to go back and forth. It. While Lisa is asking questions to the like, even with the slightest amount of movement, it'll go. It'll. It'll. It'll, it'll swing. It's a pendulum. That's the whole design around. The spirit it. of the little girl that passed away on the swing ride. A shadow-like figure can be seen walking from right to left. That looks behind cool. The two investigators, Dustin and Lisa, don't hear or see anyone and continue their investigation not even knowing what they just caught on camera. So could it be that the spirit of one of the child visitors who passed away at the park came out to attempt to communicate with Lisa? Let me know what you think. I think it came out to ask her where she got that freaking that, that, that puffy jacket, dude. That's a thick jacket. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel the South That's Cats a thick, thick jacket. I need a thick, thick jacket like that. But Passing here in through. California, I mean, now, now it's the end of the world. You know, freaking global warming and stuff. It's freaking raining and hailing and stuff. But uh, Nuke's top five. You're right. I don't typically need to, it, 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 like a big, big jacket experience like that. he had after a night out in Texas. So. Around 2 in the morning, Ryan is driving back home when he comes to a stop at a railway crossing just as the train passes. But he Bro, last time I went to Texas to visit family, I got a Whataburger. <gasps> so good! Oh man, if you don't like mustard, you're, you're in for a bad time. But dude, I love mustard and freaking oh, so good Whataburger. Something very the fries were awesome too, I can't complain. The track. I need to, you know what I didn't do? I didn't get barbecue. What a shame. Texas, they're big on barbecue. I should have freaking tried the barbecue. It looks like someone's standing next to a light. Like that looks like a person potentially standing there, but I don't, I don't know if that is or if that's just the tire of a. Okay, he's saying the same thing. It looks like a dude. My trip in early. What the f is that? Dude, the amount of people that get run over by trains in this country, and 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 just in general in any of these states, right? Goodness. You'd think the giant bars with the flashing light would tell us something. The thing is totally. Especially he, uh, like, he, around here in Compton and stuff. Just so freaking many. Like, people, people literally race those freaking things, bro. Like, I, like, for, like, like, the, the thing starts to slide down and certain people are like, I can be, I can do this. So like, bro, this isn't, like, GTA. You're not gonna beat the train. Okay, what the f A dark I'm just saying, I can understand can ghosts being all over the freaking train. around on the other side of the tracks. Ryan finds it odd that some very large person would just be standing next to a car in the middle of the road. So he begins to record the event with his phone. 
but he is shocked when whoever or whatever it is simply seems to fade away and just disappear. It was actually, they were actually mad at each other. There was two people in that car. The other dude was like, Jim, look, man, I keep telling you, we can't hit up another bar. But come on, man, friggin', like, just, just one more bar, man. I can get one more drink and we can go home. It's like, bro, you know what? If you're gonna freaking go to another bar, get out. You go, you can go walk. All right, fine, screw you then. He just gets out the car and just sort of taps on the window like, hey, man, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not unlocking the car. You're not getting back in. And then his friend had to walk away. <laughs> Ryan says he went over his footage going, my thoroughly, dude? but he's still not completely sure just what he captured. So is this a paranormal event caught on camera, or just some very strange man staring almost motionless into someone's car at 2 a.m.? It's pretty creepy either way. Oh, it definitely is creepy. I Out love of it. left field. These next videos were shared to TikTok by poster all day every day 1772 who owns a small farm in Oklahoma. He says that he and his wife Good, recently moved to, to their farm and are working hard to transform the land they own into a beautiful harvestable garden and... Dude, I am trying so hard to make my own supermarket garden here on my property and it's... Maybe the clay soil chickens. here, dude, is brutal! However, their peaceful it's plans get brutal. derailed when user all day every day comes home from work one night to discover a light on in one of his outdoor sheds. I just got home from work and my shed light is on. Sorry, I'm spanning in the yard just to make sure nobody else is out here. I spoke to my neighbor after that last video and he said it's June. Bro, look at these properties. I could like, I, here in California, you get like no property. You get like, z like freaking like the tiniest little patch of grass. You could maybe fit a table in that patch of grass. You know, high boys have been pulling pranks on people, so I think it's them. This is why I'm gonna retire to Texas to or, or to, to, to freaking, I don't even know where, but I'm gonna retire somewhere where I can get a bunch of land to start a freaking farm. Fun time, Foxy. How's it going, my dude? What they're doing. Hey! That is the correct response. I like this guy. On and off, and then seemingly out of nowhere, a dark figure appears in front of the shed's window. User like, all turns day, every day rushes over to the shed and checks inside. He's almost challenging but him. He finds like, no like, one there. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what's up, bro? I'm in your shed. Come at me. Go like, to <laughs> almost two weeks later, and all day, every day, hears loud banging noises. Bro, what is this property? You got a freaking like wheelbarrow? Like, what is this? What is that? Is that a cage? Coming from another one of his outdoor sheds. Come on, man. Start a fogata. You got to freaking start a little campfire with that. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. There's a raccoon. It's in the ceiling. Oh, someone's outside. Bro, this is about the time when you start looking into floodlights. <laughs> like those motion detected floodlights. Oh, I didn't see it. What happened? I didn't see it. All day, every day, see someone walking around outside I the saw shed. this. That's creepy. He's out to try to catch the trespasser. And it's like super gray, too. But just like last time, there's no one there. But when he looks over at his house, he sees something that shakes him to his core. A dark figure seems to walk right in to the front door of his home. Oh, I didn't see now, that. All day, every day calls the police to come and investigate, but no one is found inside the house. So a couple of days later, late one night, he suddenly hears a loud banging sound coming from his garage. He jumps Bust out the shot, he was out of bed and goes to check it out. Uh-uh. What he finds is truly bizarre. I don't care if you're a ghost. I'm gonna put lead into you one way or another. What is that? Noise? I will fire ghost bullets. I'm gonna dip all my my ammo in holy water. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh no! Nah. That's it. I give up. I don't do addicts. There's spiders up there. Nah. Uh-uh. Forget the ghost. I don't care about the ghost. There's spiders up there. I ain't doing that. Oh, and it's like the super creepy, like, ladder that extends out. 
Do you have to install one of those? I had an attic before, and, and it definitely didn't have this. They just had, like, a little thing you pushed up. There's a raccoon up there. There's a squirrel. I like squirrels. They're cool. I used to feed squirrels at the park every day. Now I'm too I'm too I'm too lazy to go walking at the park, so I don't freaking now I just do it whenever I take out the doggo. <laughs> the door to the attic is opening and Scrolls closing are so by cool, itself, man. You give a but when he pulls out the ladder and climbs up to investigate, once again there is just nothing there. TikTok user all day every day says that his next step is to set up cameras in his home. Take that, but for next <laughs> that's your freaking new channel name. <laughs> now he has no idea what is happening around his farm and doesn't know what to believe anymore. So what do you think is going on at this small farm in Oklahoma? Did the strange shadow figure stalking- That's like a mannequin or something. the farm dude. somehow enter and take up residence inside the home? Let me know what you think. Mirror, mirror. Paranormal uh, investigator wow. Sergei Nastia Who's the Dima from the YouTube them? channel uh -oh. Toppy traveled mm -hmm. to a very remote and secluded <laughs> abandoned mansion in Russia. I'm the monkeyest. The large house is incredibly hard to reach, surrounded by a river and only accessible through one bridge. I'm so monkey that my freaking theme song is the DK theme song, Which even though he's an ape. ...has collapsed over the years. The investigators came prepared and brought rubber shoe covers to cross the submerged part of the bridge. With all of the trouble it takes to get to the abandoned mansion, it's extremely unlikely that anyone would be at the house. Bro, who owns all this? Who owns an abandoned mansion, and why have you not fixed it up and lived in it, dude? Especially in the middle of the night. Like, but I'm not saying hire a team of construction workers. I'm just saying... It's, it's Amer if, it's, if this is in America, you're not, like... Like, I'm told... I, could, I, I personally can tell you that you can go to a lot of places and find a bunch of people. Soon after the team arrives... Like, just, just give them a 24-pack of beer and we'll freaking fix it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've definitely been offered that before. <laughs> Uh, I seen fun time at Lobit come here. Oh, yeah, my They're dude. They're exploring the second floor of the building, and they already experienced something Dude, we got the whole FNAF weird. series here. Now we just need to wait for the other fun times. I have to admit, I flat out love the friggin' the 80s FNAF characters. Like, they're by far my favorite. Even, even though I don't, I don't like the fact that Roxanne was its own. Like, I really wanted Foxy to be there, too. But, you know, you had to sacrifice some stuff. We got Monty, you know, who's freaking awesome. Okay, there's definitely, I don't think this is in America. A loud bang suddenly comes from a room behind them. So, they decide to set up a static camera inside this room and light a few candles to try to encourage the spirits to make contact. Oh yes, vanilla scented candles. No ghost can resist, dude. Vanilla scent- Ooh! Smells good in here! While they're- Oh yeah, this place- Y'all brought scented candles? I'm about- I'm about to freaking hunt this place! <laughs> uh, for fun time, she is Ranging mute. their candles. Oh, is she? This happens. Okay. Shouldn't be. Unless you're using a really bad word. What'd I tell you? Vanilla scented candles. Vanilla scented candles. I will. I will I'll, I'll let my mods. Eerie sound of someone I'll, I'll, I'll ask my mods if they're from somewhere if they're in the house. Someone, but it shouldn't. Can be heard, and the team starts to get a bit freaked out. After lighting three candles, they leave the room as the static camera keeps recording. Oh, they're saying they didn't mute anyone. A few minutes later, and the camera captures something disturbing. <laughs> you promised me vanilla scented! This is Oakwood! <laughs> Sandalwood, man! <laughs> And now the Toppy team decides oh, okay. to bump things up a notch. Investigator Nastia has brought along a 50-year-old mirror that allegedly can be used to summon spirits. Now Sergey and Dima head off to a different part of the mansion, and Nastia goes into a room all alone. 
Oh man, that is that is I I, I really like that name. Nastia sounds elegant. <laughs> Just the fact that in English, nasty is like nasty. Like yeah, it sits in front of the old mirror. What happens next is downright chilling. It sounds elegant though if you say it properly, Nastia. Nastia. Is this in Russia? I'm just... I, that looks like... I, I don't know. It looks a bit Russian. I love Russia, dude. I love Russians. Not the whole freaking stuff that's happening right now, but the people. The culture. The many cultures. Nastia starts to hear strange sounds just before a dark shape seems to form in the mirror. Nastia now realizes that she might have gone just a bit- That's like subtle enough that I'll believe the video. ...too far by bringing the old mirror to this very haunted location. Bro, the only th the only danger I see here right now is those stairs. What is that? She believes that she might have accidentally just summoned a dangerous dark entity. She quickly radios. I mean, you're making a freaking circle of candles. If that's not begging for a demon, I don't know what is. Those are team members to come. Like back. I'm just saying. Like the only thing you're missing here is the Ouija board, which I've probably said in the past. But if you didn't know, you could never really actually contact anybody using a Ouija board. It's totally a lie. The whole backstory to a Ouija board is there's actually a demon trapped inside of the little uh, triangle thing. So in reality, you're basically just communicating with a demon intended to communicate with like somebody who's dead which is like i'm sorry but if you if anybody like if my family loves me you better not try to use a demon to contact me i don't play that mess nah no ouija boards so what do you think this is I love something didn't go according to plan. No, it definitely went to plan. You definitely summoned that demon. It's it's there. It's in there. Is it a ghost or something more dark and sinister? You can watch this entire investigation with even more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel. Little Tommy. bit sister to fun time, Foxy. Oh, Thanks okay. Thanks so okay. much for watching. My upload schedule is still it's messed up. So please, dude, who are you telling? I mean, my upload schedule's good. I'm, I'm keeping up with my videos five, five a week. Subscribe but. and hit the little bell icon so that you never miss a video. Follow me on the so socials my schedule and is hopefully just, just I'll gone. see you in the next video. Oh, bro, I feel like, I feel like I want to do one more video. You know what? You know what?